disturbing video that you're first going to see right here on KFOX 14 shows a disturbing case of road rage that actually involves Jessica, a man beating on an 18 year old kid at a gas station here in El Paso, and this was all caught on camera. Yeah, so the teen and his mother both reaching out to me because they're actually pressing charges about the man who's yet to be caught. Now I spoke with the 18 year old who tells me how this all happened. I also spoke with the El Paso Police Department about just how important it is that drivers don't let road rage get to dangerous levels. Now we do want to warn you the video you are about to see may be disturbing to some. What was supposed to be a normal day of pumping gas at this northeast Sam's gas station ended in a road rage incident that injured an 18 year old. I spoke with the teen who is not wanting to be identified. He says the alleged assault ensued because he was unable to get to the diesel pump at the other end of the packed area. So I had to wait like for him to move a little bit so I could get through. But, uh... Like I, that's where I just got stuck at. Unable to move out of the way, he says the man behind him became angry and belligerent. He just told me, like, move through, like, and then he was, like, screaming at me, cussing at me, like, to move through. But he, he keeps telling me to move, but I was like, I can't move. The man reportedly becoming so impatient that he eventually gets out of his two-door black Jeep, and then this happens. He walks up to my window and just, like, punches me through the window, like, straight in my nose. This video was taken by the teen's passenger as to document the incident, showing the man punching and at one point headbutting the teen and other drivers who got out of their vehicles in an attempt to help. A violent incident that El Paso Police Department Sergeant Robert Gomez says should never happen. Because there's really no excuse for this kind of behavior. So there's a wide range of, of crimes that are committed um, on the roadway because of sometimes very simple and innocent mistakes that drivers make. He says while there isn't a road rage charge a person can face. The crimes that do stem from this type of incident will be, you know, from murder all the way to simple assault. And? Depending on the age of the victim, um, yes, it can be additional charges. It, not only uh, younger, but also older can change the severity of the crime. The teen says the man in the video sped away from the gas station shortly after the altercation, but a report was filed with the police officer working at that Sam's. The mother of the teen tells me they've been in contact with the investigator now assigned to the case, who says there is an effort underway to try and find him. KFOX 14 reached out to Sam's corporate office to see what they do about assigning employees to gas stations to help divert traffic during busy hours. They sent me this statement that reads, quote, the safety of our associates and members is our top priority. Our associates were following proper protocols and immediately responded to the incident and notified local law enforcement. The teen now left with these visible bruises on his face, but thankful things didn't escalate further. You get scared because you're like, what if he's carrying a knife? Or like, like oh, I don't know what his intentions are. He and his mom hope the man is taken off the streets. He like walked up in front of me with like, like no hesitation, which kind of gives me the feeling like he's already done this before, like he would do it again. That's kind of cowardly of him. He should have, you know, picked a grown man. And are thankful for the strangers who tried to help. I'm, you know, uh, with him on that, on thanking the people that stood up for him because Lord knows what this man would have done if they hadn't stepped in. Yeah, Jessica, and obviously that video, very hard to watch. If right. you listen closely at the end there, you are able to hear those bystanders standing outside of the vehicle yelling at this man to right. stop, telling him that he's just a kid that he's beating up on. Right, and those bystanders, some of them are actually speaking with police and giving their account of what happened. So Crime Stoppers also is looking into this case. And again, so far, all they have is this video. If you know this man, uh, obviously contact police. We also know that he was driving what looks to have been a two-door black Jeep. So again, if you have information, call Crime Stoppers of El Paso. That number is there on your screen.